this is Kelly with Zen and Sleep again and today we are going to talk about the vagus nerve. It's been very popular in the health and healing circles and so I wanted to talk about it a little bit today and how you can help relieve um, issues with the vagus nerve using our tuning fork. Our tuning fork is USA made highest quality tuning fork. It's our vital health fork in our store zenofsleep.com and we also use the quartz foot which helps to amplify the signal and also the quartz itself has properties for clearing and healing as well. And so together they make a very powerful tool to help stimulate acupressure points on the body to help heal certain issues that you are having. And I like to do certain routines that go for certain issues and today we are going to talk about the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is the longest cranial nerve in the body and it touches almost every uh, organ within the body goes through the neck goes you know touches the heart and the lungs the stomach and spleen and liver and intestines and so it really reaches throughout the body and if it is out of uh, balance then it can cause issues within the body so what can cause it to be out of balance is continual stress in the body, um, having a nerve pinch in the neck or cranial area, uh, trauma in the body, uh, bacteria or virus overgrowth, um, like Epstein-Barr virus, strep virus, those can affect the vagus nerve as well, um, and neck instability from whiplash or even just your gut biome being out of balance can affect the vagus nerve, and that can cause issues like anxiety, depression, sleep issues, uh, continual cough, heart palpitations or uh, arrhythmia issues, uh, digestive problems, blood pressure problems, inflammation and gut health problems and more. So you can see how the vagus nerve is so important and it affects so many different things in the body as it starts and from around the ear and then it goes all the way down and it just branches out through the body and the stomach and through all the intestines and uh, the organs within there. And so today we're going to use the fork on acupressure points to lower stress and also to support the heart and stomach and spleen and some of those other organs that are affected by the vagus nerve. And then we'll do actual um, movement on the vagus nerve to directly stimulate it with the fork. So we're going to start on a adrenal point on the face and you just hit your fork and hold it on the point. This is point 17, which is the adrenal point. And the adrenals are attached to stress, regulate blood pressure, lower inflammation, and even calm pain. So they have a lot of things to do about stress. And you place it on the face and when you feel the um, vibration going away, then you can move to the next point. <laughs> so just keep it on the face until you feel the end of the vibration and then you can move to the next point. So the next point is point six right here, a little out from the crease of the mouth and under the lip. And this is a toning body point. It also tones the heart as well and it regulates blood pressure, helps with tiredness, but it's one of the heart points on the face. So we're dealing with the heart here. And as I said, a lot of these points on the face are to help to reduce stress in the body as that these days is one of the main triggers uh, for the vagus nerve to be out of balance. The next point is number 19. It's right at the base, kind of on the underside of the nose. So we'll just kind of hold it like this, kind of silly, but <laughs> it works. Um, this is a toning point as well. It tones the heart. It helps increase energy. It uh, helps with nervous depression, and it also helps the stomach and the lungs, which are affected by the vagus nerve. So I'm just kind of holding it underneath my nose, as you can kind of see here. 
180 is kind of on the temple point, just down from the edge of the eyebrows and back just a little bit, kind of on the temples. So this also um, helps to strengthen and relax the solar plexus, which is the diaphragm. The, the vagus nerve does travel through the diaphragm. So we want to relax the diaphragm and not have the diaphragm so tight that it is pinching off the vagus nerve. It also helps to lower inflammation, regulate the blood pressure, and helps with migraines as well at this point. So it's pretty much just right on the temples. After here, we're gonna go directly to the diaphragm point on the tip of the nose, kind of on the top where your um, glasses would sit. And this is the diaphragm point just to help again to relax that diaphragm. It's good to take a deep breath here. Just help that diaphragm to relax and balance. And then we're gonna to go to a relaxation point here on the forehead. It's almost like straight above the eye, about middle from top to bottom on the forehead. It's one of the main relaxation points in face reflexology. Um, it also helps to relax the brain. It calms the central nervous system. It lowers pain, strengthens the body, and it's also a great point if you have issues with insomnia. And some people, you know, you can kind of go back and forth a little bit if you'd like until you can kind of feel where the sore spot is or you can just kind of, if you found it, you can just hold it there. Whatever feels good to you. If you want to move it back and forth or just place it, um, that's just totally up to you. From here, we're hitting the shoulder point, which is at the tip of the eyebrow, kind of on the forehead there. And it also is um, for shoulders. So help relax the shoulders, which the vagus nerve kind of goes through that. So we kind of want to relax the shoulders. It relaxes the heart. It calms the central nervous system, helps to regulate the heart as well. And it's also another insomnia point and helps with nervous depression. And then our next point will be right in the middle of the eyebrows. This is kind of where the neck is on your face. So it's good for any cervical issues. Um, it also is where the throat is and it helps to um, relax the parasympathetic nerve and relax your heartbeat. And it, it also is helpful with insomnia. So I'm right in between my eyebrows, if you can see there. And then we're gonna finish with point zero. It helps to kind of lock in what we've done, but it's also another solar plexus diaphragm point. It's just right in front of the ear where that kind of flap is. But it also helps the ears, the spine, the adrenals, stomach, helps to regulate the heartbeat relax the nervous system, and even tones the body. But it's a good point to finish with when you're doing the face points and it just helps to solidify kind of what we've done on the face. And from here, we're gonna just do some movements um, over the body, uh, over the vagus nerve directly, and then a few other points on the body. So I'm gonna start kind of behind my ear Go down the back side of my jaw, under my jaw, and down my neck. And this one I'm going in front of that big neck muscle, that SEM muscle. And I might just kind of do that two times going in front of that muscle. And then do it again going kind of behind that muscle, just so we're kind of getting in front and behind that muscle. And if your vibration just kind of runs out, then you can just hit it again. And we'll do this on both sides of the body. So behind the, the jaw, down underneath the jaw, and then kind of down the neck in front of that SEM muscle on the other side. So basically right now is we're traveling over where the vagus nerve goes. It does go in front of the ear and down, 
So when we did that zero point, we hit that in front of the ear point. And now we're kind of traveling down with it. And then we're going to do some movements over the clavicle. Just two movements per side. And just move it nice and slow. And you don't need a lot of pressure. You don't want to kind of stagnate the vibration. You want to allow that to tr be able to travel through the body and activate fascia and lymphatic and stuff that's in here as well. So we're just going right above that clavicle bone. And from here, we're going to move to some lower body points. Okay, so for our lower body points, even with the xiphoid, which is the base of the sternum, go sideways over to the side part of the rib. And on that side, we are going to touch touch it there. Sorry, I just kind of stopped my brain from <laughs> moving. It just killed my brain pattern there. So. <laughs> So we'll just leave it there so it's on the side of the rib, even with the xiphoid. And then the next point, and this is on the left side, we're going to move it just right above the elbow bone, kind of in that divot, in that soft, fleshy spot. There's a little bit of a nerve bundle there. If you move it back and forth, you can kind of feel it. And just try to relax the arm a little bit, just so you're not tensing the arm and allow the signal to go through. <sighs> nice big breath on that one. From here, we're going to work directly on the diaphragm, which is below that xiphoid. And just right below that sternum bone. We can just put it right here. It's the Ren 15 point. It regulates the heart and it helps um, heart palpitations and then of course it will relax the diaphragm. And then I'm just going to do a few points on the stomach, just around the stomach. Um, I'm just going to lean back in my chair a little bit and just kind of move side to side or whatever feels good to you. I usually move from right to left as kind of following the digestive pattern. And you could even start in the lower right quadrant and then move to the upper right and then around to the left and lower left. Um, just following that digestive track. There are just a lot of the branch endings of the vagus nerve in the stomach and intestines. So we're just kind of directly stimulating any of those organs. So just moving kind of slowly. Sometimes I move too quickly. You'll find that out in my videos. <laughs> I'm kind of a move quick type of person. So it takes effort and thought on my part to focus on slowing down and that's probably one reason why I need to stimulate my vagus nerve. <laughs> I have been kind of stuck in that fight or flight tendency um, probably most of my life, a lot of stress. So it has affected my vagus nerve over time. Um, so. so just kind of whatever feels good to you on your stomach. From here, we're going to move to pericardium um, six, which is in the middle of the wrist, kind of in that divot there. This also relaxes the diaphragm. It's very calming. It works with the heart rhythm and it also helps to regulate the stomach. So we're still dealing with a lot of those um, organs that are affected by the vagus nerve.
And it's always good to deep breathe. Breathing deep does help calm the vagus nerve for sure. So deep belly breathing. So four fingers above the ankle bone on the inside of the leg, just about a finger or so away from the edge of the shin bone. And it's usually a little sore. This is spleen six. This is a good calming and stress point on the body. Um, it helps to strengthen the spleen and the stomach as well. And we'll do the other side. And this is our last point. So four fingers up. And like I said, you can slide it around if you're trying to find it. And then put it there. No more than two run-throughs on the vibration on the fork. You only really need one. Two at the very most. If, it, if it's like a really sore point on the body, then you can do more than that. Um, but no more than two. You don't want to overstimulate the point and then you're kind of nullifying what you're trying to do in the body. So that's it for our vagus nerve routine that you can just follow along and just do it as I show you. And again, if this helps you, we always appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel or share it with any friends and family that you feel might benefit from our routines to help you with our vital health tuning fork from zenasleep.com. If you have any comments, be sure to leave them below. Or if you even have any suggestions on future routines that you would like us to cover, um, you can leave that in the comments as well. We always take those into consideration in helping um, you, our audience. So we appreciate you coming and being with me today and learning more about how to relax your biggest nerve. Take care, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.